It's a question pertaining to staying on the right path. What if we are put in the circumstance that does not allow us to focus on the right path due to the consequence that could affect our life and the people we love? How do we move forward with that kind of situation? Do we stay patient or we leave that situation anyway? Uh, yeah, it's Bismillah. It's it's. Thank you for the question. It's hard to answer because it's a very general question. It doesn't specify what type of circumstances you're talking about. I know people. It sounds like a question when people ask me about like life situations. Like I'm in a marriage and it's a horrible marriage. Should I stay in it or is this the circumstance Allah put me in and I just need to? Or I'm in a abusive situation at work or something like that or. Those are the typical ones I, I hear of, or I'm, I'm living in a place where I, it's not healthy for me, I need to move to another place, these type of things. Um, so again, I think we, the challenges of life, the struggles of life are going to be kind of there. Um, in, in a very meta sense, if you look back, if you zoom out very far and just look at all of us as tiny little beings on this planet, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the supreme being in control. Some of these things don't really you know, matter, and I don't mean to be sensitive, uh, insensitive. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm saying, like, you could choose this path or you could choose that path. But the main thing is, where is Allah in your heart when you're choosing? Um, make your choice when you're in a state of calmness. You can turn to Allah, you can make istikhara, and you can choose... Should I stay in this situation or should I move on? But don't make your decision based on an emotional state that you're in when you're feeling overwhelmed. You have to remove yourself a little bit, take some time, ponder it, seek counsel, seek advice from people who you trust, the elders in your community, the teachers. Turn to Allah, pray to Allah, seek all, seek all of these sort of inputs and then make your decision in a moment of calmness uh, when you can be logical and think about it. And then, whatever you decide, again, have a good opinion of Allah. That's the, the, the advice I would give, so that, you know, the most important thing is that you're not just acting on impulse. You're not just acting out of anger or out of feeling hurt or sadness or because you want to get back at someone else. You have to remove that, that portion of it and find a calm moment and then make your decision.